Welcome to the 3B group. 50 yes no questions of N400 application. Part 12. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? It's mean. Did you ever say you were a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? It's mean. Did you ever sign up to vote in the United States? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? It's mean. Did you ever choose a new leader in a U.S. election? No. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? It's mean. Do you have a title, like a prince or princess? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? It's mean. Were you ever legally insane? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? It's mean. Do you owe late taxes? No. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? This question is confusing. You may say, for example, I work and I pay taxes. I don't work. My wife pays taxes. I don't work. My daughter supports me and pays taxes. My husband and I pay taxes together. Or. No. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? It's mean. On a tax form, did you ever say you didn't live in the United States? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? It's mean. Are you a member of an organized group of people? Were you ever a member of any organized group of people? No. What is communism? No freedom. No democracy. For example, Cuba or North Korea. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with, either directly or indirectly, the Communist Party? It's mean. Have you ever been part of or connected to the Communist Party in any way, even if it's not directly? No. What is totalitarian? A totalitarian government controls everything people do. 
Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with, either directly or indirectly, any other totalitarian party? No. What is terrorism? Terrorists kill many people. Example, September 11, 2001. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with, either directly or indirectly, a terrorist organization? No. Have you ever advocated, directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? It's mean. Did you ever tell people to change a government by force? No. What is persecute or discriminate? Be bad to people because you don't like their race or religion. What is race? Race is a categorization based on physical traits such as skin color. Nationality refers to a person's citizenship in a particular country. Examples Black people White people Asian people What is a social group? Two or more people who interact with one another, share similar characteristics, and collectively have a sense of unity. Examples Poor people Rich people Educated people, farmers What is a political group? A political group is an organization that coordinates candidates to compete in a particular country's elections. Examples Democrat Republican Communist What is national origin? The country where you were born, for example. El Salvador, China. Haiti. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? It's mean. Did you ever discriminate against people because you didn't like their race, religion, country of origin, social or political group? No. What is the Nazi government of Germany? The Nazi government of Germany killed many people because of their religion or political group. They started World War II. Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? It's mean. Did you help or work for the Nazi government of Germany? No. Have you ever been involved in any way with genocide? It's mean. Did you ever try to kill all the people of the same group? No. Have you ever been involved in any way with torture? It's mean. Did you ever do something very terrible to another person? No. No. 
What does kill mean? Kill means make someone die. Have you ever been involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? It's mean. Have you ever done something to hurt or harm another person, like trying to make them die or killing them? No. Have you ever been involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? It's mean. Did you ever hurt someone very much because you wanted to? No. Have you ever been involved in any way with forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? It's mean. Did you ever force someone to have sex? No. Have you ever been involved in any way with not letting someone practice their religion? It's mean. Did you ever stop someone from practicing their religion? No. Have you ever participated or served in a military unit? It's mean. Did you ever work for the military in any country? No. Have you ever participated in a paramilitary unit? It's mean. Did you ever use weapons and act like the military, but you were not in the military? No. What is police? People who stop crime. Have you ever participated or served in a police unit? It's mean. Were you police officer in any country? The police stop crime. No. Have you ever participated or served in a self-defense unit? It's mean. Did and your neighbors ever come together to protect your community from crime or violence? No. Have you ever participated in a vigilante unit? It's mean. Did you ever act like the police, but you were not the police? No. Have you ever participated or served in a rebel group? It's mean. Did you and other people ever fight against the government? No. Have you ever participated in a guerrilla group? It's mean. Did you and other people ever fight against the government? No. Have you ever participated or served in a militia? It's mean. Were you ever a member of a group of people who fought with weapons? No. Have you ever participated in an insurgent group? It's mean. Did you and other people ever fight against the government? 
No. What is a jail? A place for people who are arrested for a crime. What is a prison? A place for people who are convicted of a crime. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a prison or jail? It's mean. Were you ever a soldier, worker, or helper in a prison or jail? No. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a prison camp? It's mean. Were you ever a soldier, worker, or helper in a prison for enemy soldiers? No. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a detention facility? It's mean. Were you ever a soldier, worker, or helper in a place where people are not free to leave? No. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a labor camp? It's mean. Were you ever a soldier, worker, or helper in a place where people are forced to work? No. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in any other place where people are forced to stay? It's mean. Were you ever a soldier, worker, or helper in any place where people were not free to leave? No. What is gang? A group of bad people who have weapons and commit crimes. What is threaten? Tell a person you will hurt them if they don't do what you want. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? It's mean. Were you ever a member of a gang or group of people with weapons? And did these people use weapons to hurt other people or threaten other people? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? It's mean. Did you ever sell, give, or help someone get weapons? No. Receive training means learn how to do something. What is military? Government soldiers who protect the country. Paramilitary means. A group of people who act like a military group, but these people were not part of the official military. Act like the military means? Do the same things as the military. What is weapons? Guns, bombs, knives, tanks, and other things that kill or destroy. Receive military training means. Learn how to be a soldier.
What does it mean by receive paramilitary training? Learn how to do the same things as a soldier. What does it mean by receive weapons training? Learn how to use guns, bombs, knives, tanks, and other things that kill or destroy. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, a group of people who act like a military group but they are not part of the official military or weapons training? It's mean. Did people ever train you to be a soldier, to do the same thing as a soldier or to use weapons? No. What does it mean by recruit a person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Ask or tell a child to work for or help people with weapons. What does it mean by enlist a person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Sign up a child to work for or help people with weapons. Meaning of the conscript a person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group. Force a child to work for or help people with weapons. What is group? Many people together. What is armed group? A group of people with weapons. Armed force means? A group of people who fight with weapons. What does it mean by serve in an armed force or armed group? Be part of a group of people who fight with weapons. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? It's mean. Did you ever ask or force a child to join a group of people with weapons? No. What is combat? Fighting with weapons. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? It's mean. Did you ever use a child to help people who were fighting? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit, a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? It's mean. Did you ever break the law, help someone break the law, or try to break the law, but you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? It's mean. Were you ever stopped or taken to jail by the police, the immigration, or the U.S. military? No. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing any crime or offense? It's mean. Did you ever have to go to court for breaking the law, trying to break the law, or helping someone break the law? 
No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? It's mean. Did a jury ever say you were guilty of a crime? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program, for example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication? It's mean. Did a judge ever tell you to participate in a program to make you a better person? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? It's mean. Were you ever convicted of a crime and the court supervised you for many months or years? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? It's mean. Did you ever drink too much alcohol every day? No. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? It's mean. Did you ever have sex for money, pay for sex, or help someone get sex for money? No. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? It's mean. Did you ever sell or transport drugs, for example cocaine or marijuana? No. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? It's mean. Did you ever have more than one wife or more than one husband at the same time? No. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? It's mean. Did you ever marry someone to get a green card, for example? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter? or try to enter the United States illegally? It's mean. Did you ever break the law to help someone come across the border into the U.S.? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? It's mean. Did you ever play games for money outside a legal casino or racetrack? No. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? It's mean. Did you ever refuse to support your children or your divorced spouse? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? It's mean. Did you ever lie to the government to get food stamps or other help? No. What is false? 
Not true. Fraudulent means? Not true. What is misleading? Not true. What does it mean by a lie? Something that is not true. What is U.S. government official? Someone who works for the U.S. government. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? It's mean. Did you ever tell a U.S. government official something that was not true? No. What does it mean by gain entry or admission to the United States? Come into the United States. Gain immigration benefits means? Get immigration benefits. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? It's mean. Did you ever lie to the U.S. government to come into the U.S. or to get immigration benefits? No. Leave means? Go away. What does it mean by removed from the United States? Forced to leave the United States. Deported from the United States means? Forced to go back to your country. What does it mean by excluded from the United States? Stopped from coming into the United States. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? It's mean. Were you ever forced to leave the U.S. or stopped from coming into the United States? No. What is ordered removed? Told to go away. Ordered excluded means? Told not to come to a place. What is ordered deported? Told to go back to your country. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? It's mean. Did the government ever tell you to leave the U.S., not come to the U.S., or go back to your country? No. What is removal proceedings? Legal process to make you leave the U.S. Exclusion proceedings means? Legal process to stop you from coming to the U.S. What is rescission proceedings? Legal process to cancel your immigration status, for example, your green card. What is deportation proceedings? 
legal process to send you back to your country. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings from the U.S.? It's mean. Did the U.S. government ever begin the process to make you leave the U.S., stop you from coming to the U.S., cancel your legal immigration status, or make you go back to your country? No. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? It's mean. Is the U.S. government now trying to make you leave the U.S., stop you from coming to the U.S., cancel your legal immigration status, or send you back to your country? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? It's mean. Did you ever work for the U.S. military? No. Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? It's mean. Do you work for the U.S. military now? No. What does discharge mean? A soldier leaves the military. Do you understand what disciplined means? To be punished for doing something wrong. What is court martialed? To go to military court. Have you ever been court martialed, administratively separated, or disciplined, or have you received an other than honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? It's mean. Were you ever punished or fired from the U.S. military? No. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? It's mean. Were you ever fired from the U.S. military because you were from another country? No. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? It's mean. Did you ever go away from the United States because you didn't want to work for the U.S. military? No. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? It's mean. Did you ever apply to be excused from working for the U.S. military? No. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? It's mean. Did you ever run away from your job in the U.S. military? No. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? It's mean. Are you a man? Did you live in the U.S. when you were from 18 to 26 years old? No. What is the Constitution? It is the supreme law of the land. 
What is form of government of the United States? Republic. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? It's mean. Do you accept the Constitution and government of the United States? Yes, I do. What is an oath of allegiance? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? It's mean. Do you understand the promises you will make in the oath of allegiance? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? It's mean. Will you say the oath of allegiance? Will you promise to be loyal to the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? It's mean. If the government needs your help, will you use weapons to fight in the U.S. military? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. armed forces? It's mean. If the government needs your help, will you help the U.S. military? Yes. What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation. Do you know what civilian is? A person who is not in the military. What is a civilian direction? A direction from a person who is not in the military. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? It's mean. If the government needs your help, Will you do important work for the United States? Yes.